Hey everybody, I'm back. So, what I'm going to do now is connect all these cells in parallel so they can balance. And then uh, once they sit for a week or two, I'll try and charge them all up to uh, 3.6 volts. So, I've got a bucket of bus bars and I've got washers and screws. So uh, I need to connect all the terminals in parallel. So the first thing I need to make sure is that all the pa all the terminals are lined up uh, next to each other. I mean, I don't want to connect a negative to a positive. All the negatives have to be connected together to each other. And all the positives have to be connected together to each other. And then I'll have to fashion some sort of... Um, bar or cable to connect these three rows of cells. So I've got uh, 64 cells here, 64 of the 280 amp hour EVE cells, aluminum cased cells from China, uh, from Amy. And uh, that's going to be our final configuration for uh, our battery bank. I'll have them grouped in. Once once they're all uh, balanced, I'll have them grouped in in four cell groups and then those groups will be connected together in series to create 48 volts nominal. So in order to uh, connect these bus bars to the terminal, what I have to do is um, alternate high and low. And what I mean by that is uh, the, ba the, term the uh, bus bars will overlap. So I don't, I wanna make as good a contact with the terminals as I possibly can. So, for instance, if I if I connected it like this, uh, you can see that this bus bar is at an angle, and so it's not making real good contact with this final terminal here. So I've got to uh, just use a little bit of a strategy and uh, uh, so this one goes on first, and it's nice and flat. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. There. That one. And then this one. And then this one. There we go. So, there. Now, all of those are making good contact with the uh, metal below them, uh, if you do it in that fashion. If any of them are crooked, like, you know, if I tried to do that and this, uh, that would not make real good contact with the cells, and I want to I want to make as good a contact with the terminals as I possibly can. So um, this is the way it's done, right there, and then like that, and then just alternate back and forth, up and down, all the way down the row, and same on the positive terminals. And uh, so I'm gonna put these together, and then I'll be back. Another thing I want to point out is um, I'm putting two washers on any screw that only holds down one thickness of bus bar uh, because if I don't, that screw will bottom out in the hole and not actually hold the bus bar against the terminal and not make a good connection. So on these, uh, on these end terminals where right now anyway, there's no other bus bar attached. I have to use two washers on the screw. And then here, um, I'm finding no washers works fine. It doesn't bottom out and it holds the bus bar snug snugly against the terminal material. Here we have all 68 cells connected parallel with the bus bars that were sent with the cells. Uh, I also have some 10 gauge jumper wires to connect the rows of cells positive to positive, negative to negative on the ends and in the center. Uh, so we'll let them sit like that for a while, a week or two probably, just to kind of equalize voltage among the cells. Uh, that'll help us top balance. And then once the cells are as close as they can get, we'll, um, we'll charge them up to 3.6 volts. All right, I hooked up my uh, power supply. I uh, before I I turned I plugged it into the AC outlet, 
and I set the voltage to 3.65 volts and I set the amps to the maximum and then I hooked hooked it up to my battery my cells here and it started charging at about 24 watts and being how this is a 54,000 watt hour battery it's probably going to take a while so we'll just see where it goes from here and uh, wait a few weeks <laughs> and see what happens all right dark star on the metagrid signing off again